Hey, what is up guys, my name is Amos and welcome to another video. Today I will be showing you how to make an amazing art beast plate for your intros or maybe any other videos you will be using just by using the compositing of Blender. So the first thing I'm gonna do is that I will uh, add a layout reroute and remove the composite because um, as you've already seen, my OBS is going to lag whenever you are doing a composition over here so I just wanted not to lag and explain the tutorial properly but uh, I will be sure to show you the result in the end of the video and of course read with some rendered pieces so the first thing we need is to go to search and add and write RDB down so we will take a separate RDB in plug it in here and also a combined RDB so as you can see we have two amazing nodes that we still don't know what they do and I will make sure to explain this is a separate, this is a combine they are two opposite words the separate is that it splits the RGBA so this image has um, four channels the A is the transparent, the B is the blue, the green is the green of course and the R is the red so it's taking the separated images like the red, the green, the blue and the transparent and separates them into those four outputs the combined RGB has exactly the same thing, but it inputs the different channels. So what we have to do is to fuse all of those. Like the transparent goes to the transparent, the blue goes to blue, the green goes to green, and red goes to green. So right now we have created completely anything. We just separated the images and fused them together. However, this is really important for our tutorial ongoing. Then we will go to group, distort, and then take our scale node and take it over here so I will plug it into the red app then I will scale it to the top green and blue uh, D and Y then I will press shift and D to duplicate it and plug it here and do exactly the same for the blue tunnel however the transparent tunnel might remain like this so for organization we are going to move those two down then I'll also move this down a little bit I will choose both of them, then press S, X, 0, and also move them a little bit to the top. Now what we've done is that we have a scale archer for our red, green, and blue channels. So now, um, if we move that in, we can see that we still have our remotes. However, if I scale that to 1.04, and this 1.02 you can see that there is a red tunnel popping a little bit up and the blue tunnel popping a little bit up the same goes with the green which is a little bit unseen so we have created an RGB now of course you can make it more intense like if I go this 1.4 and this 1.2 you can see it's an amazing uh, intensity. However, it would be also good to scale both of the archers. I am sorry. So, yeah. And as you can see, there's an amazing RGB split over here with a good scale. So now, in order to make that into a group, what we can do is that we choose all of those four, five, excuse me, press Control and G. So now we have our group over here. Again, for organization, I'm just going to move that a little bit up. Then, we will choose the group input, go on the top of it, and add three new inputs. We're going to name all of them red value, blue value, and green value. So now we have our values over there. What we're going to do is take the red value input and plug it to both of the red scale archers at the same input and do exactly the same of the blue to the blue tunnel. Well, actually, that's, excuse me, the green value. I've put the ladles upside down. So, green value. Remember that's the order by red, green, blue. Uh, it doesn't really matter if they were 
separated we could just um, put the inputs differently but in order for them to be um, on a good order we will have to do that so we will press blue here and now we have the value so we will plug it into the <coughs> excuse me blue scale and the blue to the green so because both of those values work for only one purpose and we only want them to be scaled both at the time that's why we are using two of the inputs on one output so if we press tab you can see our node over here which we can name R to be split so as you can see we have a black image that's because for the original scale node if we have a distort the scale node must be on the one by default and then get lowered which means that we have to name both of those to one and as you can see again nothing happens because we haven't set it properly so we're just going to change the values as I did before uh, to 1.6 this time and 1.08 this time and as you can see we have a proper RGB split you can seize it however you want, you can also keyframe those, it's really free for the values so like let's say I set this to 2 and set this to 3 it's going to have a different value but it's still an RGB split so we can resize them by going back to 1 and that was guys how to make your own RGB split thank you so much for watching, I hope this tutorial was helpful and it will help you for your intros, tutorials or videos this is a really good effect and really useful and well, a really famous effect, so I just wanted you how to sew it, I hope the video doesn't have much bias, and thank you for watching. If you have any answer or you need figure, uh, if you have any question or you need feedback, please make sure you comment down on the comment section below, and of course you can private message me on Skype, Demostown DV. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another tutorial.